Hey guys! So this is gonna be a little different from my usual tutorials. I know I've been MIA for a little while, I've been kinda sick. So I thought I'd come back um, to show you guys where to get some really cool brushes, fonts, and textures for your Photoshop. Now this is for both Mac and PC, so you have nothing to worry about. And also how to install the brushes and fonts into your Photoshop, whether you're a Mac user or a PC user. So if you're interested, then uh, keep watching. Now, um, just a quick note, on the bottom of the description box, whatever I link or I talk about, I will post it in the bottom, so don't fret that you have to like type every single word on here. Alright, so these are just what I remember in my head. Now, if you kind of remember back a few videos ago, I did tell that my main laptop with all my Photoshop stuff, it's not working right now, so I have pretty much everything on there. So this is kind of only the sites that I actually remember that I use, but for me to update it with more, you know, places to get this stuff, then just kind of comment below. But the first place that I go to is the Forgotten Lair. Um, this place really does have pretty much everything. Um, it's more like, you know, an anime place if you like anime, but it does have, you know, regular brushes as you can see here. And I mean, it has tons and tons. So this is def definitely like a great place to get, you know, brushes if you're looking for a certain one. Um, and I also talk how to download them afterwards because they're pretty much all the same. Now the next site is DeviantArt. Now if you have been on this site, then you know it's pretty much amazing. Um, I'm pretty much on this site all the time. It's more, you know, art related for photography, graphic design, painting, drawing, anime, all that stuff. Now, you can pretty much find everything if you're looking for brushes, fonts, or textures, or even patterns to say. Um, you can find that all here. To search it, this little, uh, little box over here, let's say you can look for a specific brush, whether it be circle brushes um, you can search for that and these are some Photoshop brushes um, if you're looking for star brushes that's here um, you can even put Photoshop brushes and you got a whole bunch I mean it's endless absolutely endless so and then once you go in here it's in here it's gonna talk a little bit about it now Sometimes they will um, tell you, they won't have a little button here. So you see there's only one button called Add to Favorites. Now let's go back. And now you see there's another button that's Download. Now certain people won't have this. They'll normally have the link down here where you kind of download either at their site or somewhere else. So just try to find the link either here or if they um, have a download button over here um, so yeah the next site would be brush easy I used to use this brush before I used to use this site before I mean it does have a lot a lot of brushes and they're pretty good in quality too so I definitely recommend especially the cloud brushes I had fun with that but, um, yeah, so again, it's kind of like, uh, let me see. You can, you know, sort them out if you're looking for a specific, specific one for your Photoshop. Um, again, you go in, you can preview, and you can download. So that's good. Next one is PhotoshopWebsite.com. Now, these are mainly anime brushes. I don't know if some people are into anime or not. But, I mean, it's really some cute ones, actually. If you're interested in, you know, kind of making your character for role play, whether or not. But, um, yeah, these are some really cool brushes that you can, you know, search. And click it. 
and it'll bring you to the site where you can download it. Now, there you go. So you can you can download it and everything. Next one would be Ath Reality. I'm probably saying this wrong. This was actually one of my favorite sites to download um, brushes and uh, PNGs. Um, I definitely love this site. You can really get some awesome brushes and if you're interested in PNG, which is like a render, so um, I don't know how to explain it, but let's say you want to cut out with a flower and you don't really feel like going to Google, putting it into Photoshop, and then erasing every little single one, and it doesn't come out perfect. It actually has it over here already cut for you perfectly. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, so it has all photo Photoshop brushes you need, and then you just click this. Now, EBR is the Photoshop extension, which will download the brush for your Photoshop an image is basically if you just want the image itself so it'll come out like this um, so it'll come out like this so I'll have the um, image for you all right I'm gonna start with PC users now I believe you will need a file extension called um, I'm sorry not file extension but a file program called WinRAR now you can get that at download.com and again I'll provide the link in the description box. But WinRAR is basically a program where um, most people will put the Photoshop brushes in a folder. Now um, what most people do is they, um, they provide stuff in a folder. It'll be the Photoshop brush. Um, most of the time it's text file where it kind of just shows where the brushes are, what they're used for, the copyright, and some other stuff that's in there. Now you need to extract the brush out of that folder. Now if you don't have the software, software basically it won't let you open it. So it's WinRAR and mine says for Mac software. Um, if you're using PC, it would automatically look for a PC, but because WinRAR is not for Mac, so just get that straight. It's not for Mac users, um, because you really can unzip the file itself. So, look for WinRAR for Windows software, and da -da -da -da, this would be it right here, WinRAR 32-bit. And you download it, there's no viruses, no nothing, I promise you that. And once you have the file in your, um, once you have the software in your computer, then you can start to download. Now, you see how it says download from zipped? Um, basically, that's why I need the WinRAR to extract it. Now, let's say we want to download this. For PC, um, it's not gonna do it for my Mac, so I'm trying my best to help you PC users. But uh, when you download it, it's gonna come in a little folder, kind of like this, like this Miko Brush folder. Um, when you get go into it, there should be a whole bunch of like random things in there. Now, if you find an extension like this where it says dot. ABR, that is the brush for Photoshop. Everything else is just useless. Um, now there's two ways to download um, brushes for your Photoshop that I, I know of or I use. The first way is if you double click it, it will automatically open your folder, I mean your Photoshop for you and it'll download itself in it. Um, if it doesn't open it, this normally happens if you've downloaded Photoshop off the internet. You can right click, open with, and just find the photo 